Hello! Today we are excited to introduce our latest controller for Ableton Live, featuring our new gesture pad add-on, a part of the MetaGrid Pro 1.5 release. This grid includes four gesture pads, navigation, commands, selected channel, and MIDI. You can quickly review the command assignments on each pad by long pressing it with two fingers. It's easy to scroll through assignments or filter them by gesture type and finger layout. For example, to see what's assigned to a double tap of one finger, just select the gesture and finger layout and there you are. Editing macros is straightforward. Simply swipe right on the finger layout icon and choose Edit. Let's start with the navigation pad. A single tab begins and stops playback. Double tap with one finger to continue playback from the last stop point. Tapping with two fingers starts recording and with three fingers toggles the metronome. You can trigger the scenes by swiping left or right. Undo and redo actions with a swipe down and use a swipe up with one finger as an escape key. Moving to the commands pad. A single tap adds an audio track and a double tap adds a MIDI track. A two finger spread tap adds a return track while a two finger tap inserts an empty MIDI clip into the selected slot. Show or hide the mixer by swiping up and access the clip view by swiping down. To expand the clip view, use two fingers and swipe down. On the selected trackpad, a tap toggles the device view. Double tapping with one finger solos and unsolos the track and with two fingers mutes and unmutes it. Adjust the track's volume by panning up and down. Fight tune with two fingers for precise control. Swipe with one finger to set it to the default level or to reset it. Panning changes the pan value. And the two finger spread tab centers it. Choose Send A or Send B to control send levels with ease. And here is the last section, the MIDI pad. You can easily assign four pre-configured MIDI CC parameters to any controller in Ableton Live. Just double tap with two fingers to enable the MIDI assignments, click the controller you want to control, select A, B, C or D and pan up or down to assign the MIDI CC value to the controller in Ableton Live. One finger down and up changes the value in larger increments, two finger pan down and up enables you to fine tune. Swipe down and up with one finger to cycle through the predefined ranges and swipe down and up with two fingers to reset the controller to the maximum or minimum value. What's great about MetaGrid Pro is that it's fully configurable. You can easily customize the gesture assignments with other commands, assign commands to unused gestures and much, much more. The setup is very easy. Just download our app-specific resources from our website and copy and paste the files to the MIDI Remote Scripts folder. The detailed instructions can be found in the MIDI and DAW setup guide that can be accessed from the settings in MetaGrid Pro. To import the Live Gesture Pad grid, open MetaGrid Pro on your iPad and open Live on your computer and load our default profile for Ableton Live. Then go to the Content Manager, tap Presets in the Grids area and select Live Gesture Pad Grid. Create a scene and you are ready. Embrace this new gesture-based control method. It may require some practice, but soon you will find your workflow faster and more intuitive than ever. Happy music making with MetaGrid Pro!
the ultimate all-in-one touch control center for Mac and PC.